Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Miranda and I am the Enchantress of Avalon. So today's video is a little bit different. First of all, I chose a different configuration for the video because I just felt like relaxing and being in the semi like meditative position on the floor of the room instead of sitting on the chair. It just felt more comfortable for this video. And I also just wanted something a little bit different because this is a vlog video that is a little bit more informal. So first off, uh, obviously by the title, I'm sure you'll see, we are going over my official tea menu for my herbal tea line at White Rose of Avalon, which is of course my company. White Rose of Avalon LLC is a company that I have just started and I've been building it up and in fact it's going to be launching in a couple of weeks so I want to go over some of my products well actually all of them with you so let's just get into that and have some tea and a chat and I have in my little teacup here my favorite teacup I have my one of my own brews it's actually the first one I'm going to talk about. So, this is what my tea menu looks like. If you follow me on my socials, or if you are on my, or if you follow, or if you subscribe to my blog, you will see, you'll have seen this on Saturday, but with a black background, just black and white, with my logo. And if you were on Patreon, you would have gotten to see this on Wednesday because I actually released this official menu on Wednesday. So the first tea on my list is kind of what I'm expecting to be my signature blend because it's been a favorite of mine for the last several months. Once I developed it, I became a bit obsessed. And it is my Queen of Alphane tea, which in its description is an enchanting fairy lovers blend of elderflower, elderberry, hawthorn leaf and flower, hawthorn berry, and red rose petals. And that is exactly what's in my cup right now. It's delicious and it's just such a soothing and very romantic blend. The next blend I have is my Fairy Priestess Potion, and that is a devotional Fairy Queen blend of Damiana, Lemon Balm, Lavender, Rose, and Rosemary. And I love that one for any sort of ritual purposes because it has a little bit more of a psychic flavor to it, while still being very, very romantic because I just love having rose in a lot of my blends. You'll see that. <laughs> Next is my La Puce Eurus tea, uh, I, and that is obviously a French name, and it is an enchanting fairy blend inspired by Queen Anne Boleyn. Hawthorn berries, elder flowers, elder flowers, red rose petals, red raspberry leaf, and nettles. Now, this one is inspired specifically by Anne Boleyn's coronation motto, which is what it's named for and it's about the height of joy in her life. So this is the more happy Anne Boleyn blend. Down the line, I might do a blend about, that's a little bit darker and a little bit, you know, more about comfort because it would be about the inspiration from her downfall, which I think would be interesting to have the dual blends. But for right now, I just wanted to celebrate her life and have the blend called Be Most Happy, which is her coronation motto. But of course, being me, I had to do the original French language on that. Then I have my Le Non Chi spell, which is a lusty blend of chamomile, nettles, and rose. So this is kind of my sexy, sassy blend, and it's very much a romantic blend. Then I have the Serene Siren, which is a soothing blend of red raspberry leaf, ladies mantle and nettles. And this is really my womb health blends because all three of those are excellent womb 
tonics and excellent womb health herbs. And when combining them in this blend, they make an excellent potion for your womb. Not that a man can't also drink this tea. Of course he can. It's just specifically these herbs are thought of as womb health herbs. Then, ooh, then I have my peaceful pixie blend, which is a calming blend of nettle, lemon balm, and elderberries. And this is a blend that I was really, really enjoying working. When I was having to go into my day job, especially towards the end, I was really loving this particular blend, my peaceful pixie, because it was soothing and it would help soothe my nerves and the lemon balm and nettles together with the elderberries were really helping with my allergy symptoms. So that was also a great bonus. And then finally, the Fairy Blessings blend, which is a blessed blend of nettles, red clover, and lavender. This is another calming one and it's a very uh, soothing blend. I really enjoy that one. Very simple. So as you can see, my blends range from three herb or some of them for five herbs and down the line I might even incorporate more but I'm quite traditional when it comes to my blends I like having an uneven number there's something about that that a lot of herbalists seem to gravitate towards and actually my herbalism teacher was talking about this in one of our classes when I had her class last year and she was like even her own herbalism teachers talked about how they gravitate towards an uneven number in their blends and there's just something so appropriate about it. Now, besides that, I did want to also show you what the packaging is going to look like. This is obviously not yet filled because I have my herbs my wholesale herbs ordered but they are not currently in hand so i haven't been able to actually blend my teas but i've been getting some of my packaging together they will be coming in these craft bags you'll be able to see in this little pouch that there's you can see what the herbs look like in the back and on the front you'll see a label the label has of course my logo and the name of the tea and the description so this one would be for my queen of Elfane blend which i'm currently drinking and each of my teas is going to be coming in these craft bags and they're going to be two ounces each i down the line might make alternate sizes where you can order two ounces or four ounces what have you of a specific blend but for right now and for simplicity's sake as i am just starting out they're just going to all automatically be two ounces and i'm just so excited to finally be able to offer my herbal teas and herbal wares to everyone. And yeah, it's such an exciting time. And I don't know how many of my YouTube viewers have also seen this, but I did write a blog post last week about how I have transitioned out of working a day job while trying to open my business. And I am now a full-time small business owner. So my entire, you know, time is being devoted towards, towards launching my line of herbal teas, writing on my blog, doing tarot and oracle card readings, because I do provide tarot and oracle card reading services as well. And of course my Patreon and this YouTube channel. So, I really hope that if you are interested at all in any of these teas, you will consider purchasing once I have officially launched. And of course, I will do a whole big announcement when my teas are officially live and ready for purchase. And I'm just, it's kind of mind boggling that this is coming together like this and I can't be happier. I could not be happier at all. However, if you don't want herbal tea, if it's not your thing to drink herbal tea, you can also, of course, join my Patreon. 
and I have three tiers on Patreon. I have a $3, a $9, and a $13 tier, and you get various perks with each of the three tiers. And if you just want kind of insight, I do offer several different tarot reading services that you can purchase now. You don't have to wait until my line of teas are launched. That's already live on my website. You could just go to Tarot and Oracle Reading Services page. It's also always linked in the description box below and purchase one of them and I can help you gain some insight in whatever you might be wondering about in your life lately. So I do hope you have enjoyed this short little video and a little dive into my tea menu, a little bit of a description and a little sneak preview of what my packaging looks like as I sit here chatting with you and sipping on my tea. If you did like, please do like, comment, and consider subscribing. So I hope you have a wonderful week, everyone. Cheers.